And new tonight, Anderson police have just arrested two teenagers in a double shooting that left one person dead. They accused 19-year-old Orlando Sutton, seen here, and 18-year-old Michael Fleming of murder, attempted murder, and attempted robbery. Now, that crime was on Saturday, one of four murders in Madison County in about a week. Our David McAnally on how this alarming trend is leading to new calls to end the violence. The police cars, the crime scene, are gone now, but on 12th Street... I was just scared for whoever it was, and just still am. You know, I, I pray for the families. Anderson folks call this a quiet street, but the silence broken by gunfire Saturday. What I thought I heard was a firework. But it was the gunfire that ended 19-year-old Bryce Patterson's life in an alleged holdup gone wrong. His friend was wounded. These are families around here, you know, quiet, there's never nonsense going on. And um, it's just heartbreaking. Jessica Cooley instantly hoped that her own children were okay. Murder is more than a statistic for this Anderson mom. <laughs> Last week, her cousin David Phillips was murdered. His body found in a Madison County preserve. A woman Phillips knew, Trinity Parker, also killed. Four suspects now charged in those killings. We pray for justice, and we pray that um, someone has a heart and, and, and feels remorseful and tells the truth. She and others on 12th Street also hope plans for a new grassroots attack on violent crime will be successful. An Indianapolis 10-point coalition walks troubled streets, reaches out to make neighbors part of the solution. Now an Anderson pastor is looking at a similar approach. Maybe it would help that the minister would get together and try to talk about something that could you know, happened. There's way too many people getting killed. And I'm not just saying by guns, by other means, you know, old drug overdoses. Deaths remembered on this concerned mom's front porch. Oh, I pray for all of them. David McAnally, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.